Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? All right, we have a higher power. I love this already. And the bottom of the deck is Treasure Island. Treasure Island. I just heard get to the beach, you guys, or get to some water if you don't have a beach near you. Maybe get to some water if you can't get to water. Like if you don't have a, a, a natural lake, even if it's a man-made lake, okay, uh, if you, and you can't get to a body of water, take a dip in some Epsom salt, okay? Because that is grounding. It's very healthy for you. Uh, it's very spiritual practice. And that could mean that some of you all may need to cleanse some of your energy. And I did actually feel called to smudge everything beforehand. But anyway, the higher power, the number four. Oh my goodness, this is good. Treasure Island energy is about the number four or the number nine could be significant for you guys. This is saying, listen, during this eclipse energy, I don't know if you can really see this, but I'm going to try to get it close to the screen. Her third eye, uh oh, can you see that? Her third eye is like opening. There's like a light shining here. So you, 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 some of you all are going through some form of spiritual ascension, awakening or upgrade here during this time, or you're receiving some form of downloads here too. This is like spiritual ascension energy. So you might be experiencing some form of symptoms when it comes to that, right? Some of y'all is headaches, feeling very tired, feeling like this heavy energy over you. Um, and you could command that energy out of you or just take time and rest here too because that's also an energy that I'm getting here with this card rest and just be open to receiving and allowing and your angels are here to support you during this time frame here too but 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 with the higher power and treasure island energy it's literally giving me this energy of okay yeah it's literally giving me this energy of like there's something divine divinely orchestrated divinely putting your path for it and that this is your whoever it is you pray to who, whoever you believe in this is them or the co-creator god you know, uh, the universe putting something very, very good. Yeah. Clean up your home and get organized here. Okay. Maybe tonight if you can. I would do it tonight if you can. I mean, you know, the eclipse energy is definitely going to purge a lot of stuff. It may be time for you to purge some old things in your home. Make room for new is another thing that I'm getting here. Because you've got some sort of a treasure box that's I feel like been slowly moving towards you with this turtle. This turtle, right, is a very slow moving animal, right? Uh, slowly but surely it wins the race. And we all know that's the story of the tortoise and the um, uh, whatever was it, the rabbit or whoever it was, right? But anyway, the tortoise won the race, okay? And uh, there is a treasure box that is opening. Okay, it's open and it's illuminated. It's coming towards you. It's already in your ethers. It's already in your energy. All right, so let actually, yeah, let me get, we're going to pull some Moonology cards too. And then I want to read. I haven't seen the Treasure Island energy come out in a very long time, you guys. It's time to take action. Aries energy, you could have Aries somewhere in your chart, but it doesn't matter, okay? Uh, maybe something significant here it, it will come towards you that you need to take some form of action on. Be very decisive about it. Don't sit on your hands about it. Don't procrastinate here. Meditate and contemplate. Didn't I say this is giving energy of like you resting or getting near water or taking an assault with like Epsom salt in it maybe put you some nice little uh you know uh rose petals milk honey i don't know i don't care essential oils if you're a guy and you're not into the roses okay even if whatever just make it comfortable for you so you can just get in there and just just chill you know and meditate look at this a new start is coming whatever this is that's coming towards you you guys is totally brand spanking new and Treasure Island is giving like Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups energy. I'm telling you, this is beautiful. But there will be some action required on your part. So remember that, okay? Whether the action is, like I said, you getting, definitely taking rest is giving you are going to be busy. Once this energy rolls through, you're going to be very busy. So Spirit is saying, hey, get organized now while you have the downtime, you guys. Uh, go ahead and get some rest while you can.
go to the beach or relax, whatever that is for yourself. That's what you need to be doing here. So let's read uh, higher power. The number four, again, could be significant for you guys. Maybe you've been seeing 444 here lately. This is also about you seeing signs and synchronicities and you being in some form of alignment, okay? So you are where you're supposed to be right now. If this message is resonating for you, you are currently in alignment with your path, your purpose, in your path okay so this is conscious contact with the higher power the presence of the divine seeing source energy in all things committing to a partnership with spirit okay it says this card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others uh, you have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself at this time you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Now look at that. Because <laughs> there goes that meditate and contemplate card here too, right? Yeah, so make sure you guys are doing that. Put that on your little checklist of, you know, things to do to harness this energy and be in alignment. It says now ask, what is, what is the highest good for all and how can I serve? Okay, then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. You guys are going through like these really about to go through a really awesome, amazing shift. You're starting a new cycle. There's a new start coming for you. There's no need for you to be worried about anything right now because spirit just told you like, hey, you're divinely guided and protected. OK, so just remember that. Oh, let's read Treasure Island. I'm sorry. Number nine. Sorry. Thank you for the reminder, spirit. OK, here we go. Number nine, Treasure Island. The law of attraction bringing dreams into fruition. Look at that. The results of positive thinking made manifest. Abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. Look at that, you guys. It said you've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance. And suddenly, in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What must you hone now? What you must hone not in on now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot. Because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. So trust your intuition to light your way. Now, as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long, hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. Oh my goodness. In all aspects of your life at this time, you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic. So do not forget to give back to the people who helped you give to the community give to a good cause that might be near and dear to your heart i don't know whatever it is or just pay it for or pay for somebody's coffee that's in front of you or behind you however that goes right behind you anywho beautiful energy i love it for the eclipse new moon energy a new start is coming show me more about this new start for the collective and what they need to know surrounding this Eclipse energy, please. All right. What do we have here? Yeah, okay. I feel like, you know, you guys have been feeling very stuck here lately. <laughs> There's some form of divine feminine energy popping up. Which is great because this is kind of like I could be speaking to a feminine, or, you know, and you if you're a masculine, you could have feminine energy. You do have a feminine energy, but there could be a need for you to be more and balance into your feminine energy is the point that I'm getting here. There is some fertility happening here for you guys. You, if you've been feeling like you've been stuck lately here, it's because you've been in a, in a holding pattern holding period of healing a hold of growth you pl it's like you planted your seed right you did all this work that spirit is saying you've been doing and now look at what's coming to you you're this powerful harnessing energy it's already the ethers is already on the way like i was saying because like you've already done the work or you guys have already planted the seed so great so now you've been watering it nurturing it and it's like dang you're doing all this work and putting in all this effort and energy and now you're going to come out of this feeling of being stuck 
Yeah. Make sure you, you've been very strong willed. Now, this is not the time to give up. Okay. Because the action now is the time to take action card came out. So this is not a time where you guys want to give up here. You, you, you're going to have to stay patient. Okay, because patience is definitely needed. Your eye needs to stay focused right where it should be, right? You block, need block out all of these whatever distractions that you may have in your life, okay? It's time for you to, to, to stand firm and don't back down. And realize in your power and trust in that, okay? Because you do have it. There's a need for you to also be a little bit more flexible. Some of you all need to be a little bit more flexible and do a little bit of adjusting. Some of you all may not want to hear that. But I feel like you're just, you're shedding. You're shedding things and healing and releasing bottled up emotions and really getting down to like the root cause of things and seeing things beneath the surface. And if you're not, that's the energy that you should be in. Okay. Virgo energy just came out, which is cool because like, you know, it's Virgo hermit energy is like energy of like, I won't, I don't want to say feeling stuck, but standing still and evaluating something. Uh, reflecting, right? Uh, and I feel like that's what you've been doing, being very critical of yourself. Huh. I they feel like I'm talking to someone here who's a very humble person and they're very self-critical. So give yourself a little bit more compassion here. You, Some of you all may do candle magic. You may be uh, into that kind of thing. I don't know. You might be thinking about it. Okay, you might have some witchy vibes. Okay, <laughs> all right. If you're not into that kind of thing, you might just be very self-critical. You know, a very insightful person. You like things to be in a certain order. You know, you're a little meticulous. Okay, then we have the sextile energy. And the sextile energy is like, I feel like Queen of Wands combined with the Queen of Cups. The sextile energy is like somebody who's has a lot of charisma. They're very sexy and just, just they have this aura and sense about them, right? You see how she's like caressing this thing on her face. It's like very sensual energy here. But also to hear what the, what's crazy is you see how she's in like the middle, like these two doors are open, and then they reveal this woman right, who looks rather satisfied and actually very happy in a really good space. She looks like she's in a safe place here. This is opportunities opening, doors opening for you is what this is, okay? For some of you all, it's going to be like you, an opportunity or a person or a teamwork or something that's someone who's going to be helping you, okay, support. This for some of you all is collaboration on a new project. For some of you all, new doors and new opportunities are coming towards you that are going to help you really grow and develop into something very promising, I feel like. So make sure you're going in the flow of things here and, and you're open to receive. Being in this divine feminine energy, you want to make sure you're open to receive, right? Because <clears throat> I know you guys are giving already. Um, but now is the time. Here is what this energy is currently saying. Okay, so take a cleansing, a cleansing bath, or a cleansing shower. Okay, what else do we have for the collective? Thank you. Yeah, you are. And what is that? Show me more. Okay. Yeah, new and exciting opportunities are coming up. And there goes that Leo energy. Remember I was saying it's giving Queen of Wands energy here. Queen of Wands energy, very like flirtatious, sensual, sexual, kind of like in your face energy. But good, not Jezebel energy here. I feel like you guys really, really are doing a lot of self-reflection here. That's why this Virgo energy came out. Because this third quarter moon energy came out. This third quarter moon energy is like a time where you're like self-evaluating, like I was saying. It's like where you're doing a lot of introspection and you're in that hermit mode, like I was saying. Like I feel like you guys have been doing a lot of that work that's required. Um, and, and like I said, number one, forgiving, releasing, letting go, right? I know you're doing a lot of thinking. It's okay for you to let go of that and just move on, right? Um, and keep trusting. But again, 
third quarter moon is energy is also about you making adjustments seeing like okay what is it not working for me right now um how can i get out of my own way okay well i tried that and that didn't work what else is there left to do that i haven't done maybe let's try that that's that energy too it just means a little bit of revision it doesn't mean that you're unsuccessful or you're not going to reach uh, you, the finish line and be successful. It just means like it's it's like humping the road, but you're gonna get over the hump. It might slow you down a little bit, but what's yours is yours. It's divinely meant for you. Nobody can take that away. You have a divine contract to fulfill here, and you will be doing that. Okay, Jupiter energy is about good luck. So whatever this new opportunity is, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be some fun news. I feel like you guys are stepping into a new path here with these new doors opening. It says luck, abundance, growth, success, fulfillment, happiness, travel, chance, optimism. And this could be like you meeting, running into somebody by chance that someone that's going to help you along your path or be able to resolve something, some give you a solution to something here, okay? Uh, some of you all may even be traveling like out of the country. So stay positive. Be, be willing and ready to adjust, okay? Be willing and ready to adjust. Because <clears throat> I feel like now is the time for you to, to rest, okay? Because you've, you've do already done the work. You've already done the work. All right. Let's see. We are going to pull a runes box card, okay? And then we're going to read from this book. I haven't used this in a very, very long time. Okay. Let's see what the message is for you. What else does the collective need to know for this um Eclipse energy. Eclipse energy. Okay, we got two. We didn't want two, but oh, I got three. Okay. Oh, this is good. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. You guys are definitely getting ready to travel. Okay, number one, you're getting ready to do some form of traveling. Even if that's within the states, you're, I feel like you, this could be physical and this could also be like have to do with your career you're moving up you're moving on you're progressing some of you all may be moving some of you all may be traveling there's movement but it's forward movement and it's progress and i feel like it is definitely something new here because there is a consistent message coming out here of movement and progress and of travel so again for some of you all there's definitely travel international travel here you're like tra traveling across water here and then we do have water energy here also too. So you could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But this says, journey across across water, intuition, fluidity, creativity, movement, and progress. So like I said, for some of you all, you've been feeling stuck. Maybe you've had a creative block. Maybe you're not sure about what you want to do next in your life or whether you want to retire or, you, or what you want to do next or you're feeling stuck in the current career or the current relationship or situation that you're in. You're getting ready to have some form of, okay, I know what I need to do. I know what I want to do. Let's just go ahead and do this, okay? Movement and progress, okay? Premonition is here too. So some of you all, like I said, when you're you're having a spiritual ascension, and so your intuition is getting stronger. All right. Move in another card here. Uh, horse energy, moving, progress, travel, cooperation, partnership. So remember, we just we just said right. We literally just said. There's some form of collaboration or teamwork or the right person coming to you at the right time that has a solution to something or they may say something that prompts you to say, oh, I need to do that. That's what I didn't do. You know what I mean? It's giving that type of energy. Then we have the destruction damage card, disruption, setback and distress, inner crisis, doubt and transformation. And this is the energy that I feel like you're when you were, I was saying earlier, you're feeling a little stuck. You've been like in this mode of healing and, and, and introspection and reflection and evaluating things and releasing and healing and then you planted this seed and you're just kind of like okay I'm here feeling like maybe you're in between worlds or in limbo or there's just it's just like okay nothing's happening and you're watering and you're nurturing you know so this is this is good. It just means you're going through a death and rebirth process. So now, guess what? The phoenix has risen. 
So it's giving that that energy of this eclipse. It's like the phoenix rising energy. It may have been damaging. Again, for some of you, I'm not even going to lie. This new opportunity or this new thing is, you. it might have you busy. And you might be a little tired. And it may require you to do a lot of things, right? Because this is busy energy here. This is busy energy. And that is why it's very important for you now to rest, meditate, okay and get into that energy so let's i really want to read the movement progress the horse energy so let's see where the horse energy is so give me one second because i think that's where your main message is i haven't read this book in so long so let's see Sorry, give me one second. Ooh, here we go, 72. <clears throat> the number 72, you could be born in 1972 or... All right, this says, the horse energy, the name of this... Um, okay, yeah, we don't need to read that, the horse. The connection of the name is the awas to the Latin word uh, equus is plain to see. I don't know, whatever. All right. It says this is still true in Anglo Anglo Saxon times. The horse is a joy to a lord among his noblemen. Okay. Says the ruin poem. Horses allow people to herd cattle to cover long distances and bear down on their enemies. So they have transformational effect on human life. The gods too respected their worth. Okay. Odin had eight had an eight-legged steep slepener who was faster and stronger than any other animal. The horse rune is a good omen for a journey, though it can mean a successful new start, a change of residence, like I just said, or that you're moving along a spiritual journey, which we also said spiritual ascension, right? It said, but a horse's speed is not the only consideration it's the great strength that must be controlled by the rider okay thus the rune can signify that the cooperation is a crucial factor in successful venture or relationship business partnerships are favored over solo undertakings so you've been maybe trying to do something on your own here and you, you're going to meant to be doing it with someone else or you're meant to be asking for help make sure you're doing that make sure you're open to receiving like i said to receiving this help be open to having conversations with strangers don't judge a book by its cover you get you get where i'm going with this okay all right <laughs> i'm just saying so that that is what spirit is saying here it is this is so this is amazing i i, I love Love this okay this is pretty cool yeah your color might be white so the number white I mean wear the color right here interesting and maybe go listen to some E flat music or something beautiful 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 all right let's get you some other advice cards okay thank you what is the advice for the collective during this eclipse energy. Ooh, listen. Guess what just came out? Progress, not perfection. Literally, progress, not protection. I mean, I'm sorry, not perfection. Remember I said I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's pretty been pretty self-critical or like wondering why something isn't working or whatever like it's because some adjustments are going to be required and again somebody here feel like it's going to have a solution and adjustment but are you going to be open to it to working with them do you feel like you got to do this alone because you don't have to do this alone okay it says don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself instead focus upon how far you've come and all that you have learned cow sight Busy times and multitasking. Did I not just say that? I've been saying that through all this reading. Calcite. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being so busy. Why are you being so busy? Sit, 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 sit down. Okay. Go sit down. Okay. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, you're stressed out. Watermelon, tourmaline, stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and... and and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. Can't make it up. Spirit has said, said this throughout this whole reading, right? <clears throat> and let's get you one more. 
One more face. Okay, I got two. Okay. Unnecessary worries. Did I not tell you you guys might be worrying? It says release the burden of worries, giving them to God and for healing and for solutions. There's nothing to worry about. There is nothing to worry about. Because there is a higher power here. This is out of your control. There is a destiny to be fulfilled. There is a contract, a divine contract. No one is going to be able to take that from you. Answer prayers. <laughs> I cannot make. This is beautiful. It says all of your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. I told you. I told you. All of your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. These doors that are opening, right? We talked about that. Yeah. This is amazing reading. I love you guys. If